Farmara is at the finishing point trying to find out which companies emerge first from there. The guy in red won. Let's just see. Um, that is Gambega. Gambega came out first in that 100 meters. You can tell from their uh, track and suits and they are embracing each other, celebrating. That was a victory for uh, Gambega, the Coca-Cola company taking force in that event. Yeah, and MS, that pillow fight just ended was between the Ministry of Fisheries, Water Resources and the Ministry of Youth and Sports. And the Ministry of Youth and Sports has emerged victorious in that pillow fight. Okay. Um, we have some dignitaries here, Modo S. I will leave you to talk to them on their impressions about the media sports. Have, uh, have a seat. Uh, <laughs> it's all about the 400. We are telling you we have two dignitaries with us. Like we said in our introduction, this is a day where the ministers, the directors, the managing directors, up to the last man, interact. It's a day of fun. And uh, let me just allow them to first of first introduce themselves. My name is Andre Wulkoli, Minister responsible for Lands and Regional Government. Lionel Nyabali, Permanent Secretary, Office of the Vice President. So you have heard from them, Mr. Nyabali and Mr. Koli. Um, tell us your impression. Well, my impression today is great because sports build our families strengthen relationships and also make people to understand and feel as one and as such this year I think the major sports has really manifested that unique relationship that the Gambians share in common everybody is happy they are all moving in and out and people are making new friends people are trying to know where who and what who is doing what so definitely it's very much impressive to me. This is one of the first counter encounters I have. Even in my own ministry, we have never participated to this level. But this year has proved, and we believe that it is something that has just started, and we shall continue. This oneness and the unity that is starting to build among us, we are very, very grateful to the event. Thank you very much. All right, um, Honorable Koli. Um, before I come to Mr. Nyabali, um, there's a very interesting talk of war you can see live on your screens. Uh, I think Farmara will try to help us. Okay, that is Lyco, uh, Lyco Atlantic and Gamtel Gamsel. Farmara, I think Gamtel Gamsel won. Yeah, they won. That was very, very interesting. Mr. Nyabali, um, it's fun. Uh, I can see you smiling. Tell us, uh, what is, what is, how, how is the Office of the President doing? Well, um, I cannot agree more with my colleague. I have done mine. Honorable Jun Kongkwale, that uh, it's been very interesting since morning. And which is clearly an epitome of the friendship, the oneness that we Gambians share. The country is united. We are a peace-loving country. And as, as you know, sports is a very important avenue which brings people together to ensure peace and stability and friendship. But what is quite intriguing today is the talk of war. My office was managed at least to win. The females won the first round, the, the opponents, and the males also won. Of course, it's not a pleasant win because they defeated our own brothers, the office of the president. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, no. You know, the, 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 the partnering was, wasn't ideal because they are brothers, you know. But uh, having said that, actually, it's, it's quite an interesting scene um, we are seeing, witnessing today. And I'm uh, looking forward to seeing who will win the talk of war. Last time we were here, permanent secretaries did compete with the ministers, although we are defeated. But, you know, we have always maintained also that how can you pull your minister down? <laughs> 
So, but, uh, as I said, honestly, I'm looking forward to the panel. So the government Armed Forces last year they won, and I'm looking forward to see them, you know, within this time also, because they have, a, they have quite a formidable team. Uh, but it's all fun, and we are very happy. Thank you. Before, before you go, um, let's just look at the significance of this day and, of course, how uniquely it is celebrated in Gambia. Um, one can say it all boils down to the peace, the tranquility that we enjoy in this country and, of, of course, the economic development that the country has enjoyed over the past 20 years under the leadership of His Excellency, the President, warranting such a colorful celebration here today, bringing all the companies, all institutions from both private and public sector. As I said, it's an epitome of the good leadership that we have in this country. The icon of our development aspirations, you know, has always maintained that, uh, you know, he will do everything possible to ensure that peace and tranquility reigns in this country. And he's doing that. If you look at the level of participation, whether public enterprises, private sector, government departments, it speaks for itself. It speaks volumes. That's why we are called the smiling coast of Africa. You know, we, without, if we don't, without peace and tranquility, there's no way we can have sustainable development. So honestly, as I said, it's a clear epitome of the good leadership that we have in this country. And we are very thankful and pray that Allah the Almighty continue to, uh, to, 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 to ensure that this country uh, enjoys peace and stability. Um, what is going to be the position of the office of the president? Well, as I say, well, uh, office of president, well... Um, um, I, 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 well, for the talk of war, um, they, they have not been able to actually defeat the officer of vice president. But as I say, I wouldn't want to comment much because they are brothers, you know. But they are doing everything possible. But what is key in the end is participation. You know, participation. The spirit with which all this team came you know, and participated is something that is commendable. I mean, we thank the Minister of Youth and Sports, the organizing committee, for hosting such a wonderful event. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Nyabali. Well, um, it's a day where you have the executive, the judiciary, and uh, the legislature all here present uh, to participate. And now I have the Honorable Speaker of the National Assembly, um, Honorable Bojang. Tell us your impression. I want to congratulate the Ministry of Youth and Sports alongside the organizing committee for this great annual event. And I want to congratulate as well the GRTS for covering what is happening here for the entire country and even beyond to know what is happening. And uh, I, of course the impressions are great that uh, when it uh, takes you a week or a month or a year to work, it is good that you look for a day, even single, to be together, have sports which adds to our health and as well come together and those who have taken a long time without being able to see each other come together and interact. So my impression is great actually, very great. What has been the level of participation of the National Assembly? How impressed are you with the National Assembly? Well, uh, you see, the National Assembly has every year been participating and this year too we participated uh, we of course i think played in almost all the the the, the, the events that, that happened here some we lost and some we won so i the, the attendance of the national assembly and participation is an, is an every year thing which i want to you know promote and encourage actually the national assembly is, is for the people and part of the people and therefore any other thing that, that happens in the country you know we must be part of it Mm -hmm. Are we going to see the legislature taking on the executive this time around in the talk of war? I am not too sure because I don't know how um, arrangements for the running up and, and competition towards the end is going to look like. But uh, I think uh, we had an event of, you know, pool and it is talk, talk of war. And uh, we, we, we won the, the first one. But the second one we, I think, uh, had a talk of war against uh, Nawek, but we lost that. 
So I'm not too sure whether we are, we, we are proceeding ahead or, or there's a break for us. But if not, we would definitely love to, to meet the executive. But those ones, are, they are light to us, I think. Yeah, I wish, I, I, I thank you very much, uh, Honorable. But I wish uh, the organizers would put that into consideration, where we are going to see the legislature and the executive um, pulling each other on the talk of it.